What is up guys, Jared Campisi with my main man Dotto back in the garage for another episode of the Carbon Panigale series. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a series where we take this beautiful 1299 Ducati Panigale, <laughs> Panigale, Panigale, we customize it with the support of our patrons and then we give it away when we're done. If it's something you want to be a part of, head on over to patreon.com slash Campisi Customs. Um, it'll always be linked in the description below. In today's episode, we're going to be unboxing the freaking $4,000 Rotobox Boost full carbon fiber wheels provided by the absolutely gorgeous Manny from Moto Million. We are hoping that it's wheels and not rocks, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, and we also have posters for sale, and Teens is going to help us unbox these. It's going to be a freaking awesome episode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. Cheers. <laughs> Posters are finally available. Fine. Poster yeah, autograph. so these are all going to be autographed. They're limited. We're only going to sell them for a short amount of time. Um, we have the Daytona on its own, which is absolutely gorgeous. So Shane from InChain Designs did all the printing for these. They're going to be doing all the printing and shipping and all that kind of stuff. We're going to print them to order and then go in and literally hand sign them. Me, Dotto, Christina, we're all going to hand sign every single poster that's ordered. The cool thing about these posters, guys, is it's like a really special paper. It's a satin finish, and they're also non-terrible. So you literally cannot tear them. It's freaking crazy. Try it once, Dean. She's gonna rip it. <laughs> Trust me. I mean, I'm sure you could probably tear them at some yeah. point, but the point is, they're non-terrible. They also you don't want to do no, that. No, let's see if Dada can do it. And his sausage oh, fingers. Oh god, I don't want to <laughs> ruin it. I mean, it like ruins it. You don't want to. Yeah, be, like, you don't want to try it. it, but Dozer's gonna try it. Dozer won't ruin it. Yeah, but anyway, no, so like, here's the ones that we have available. So we've got the Daytona by itself. That one is available, which is one of my favorites. Uh, we've got Christina next to the bike in her beautiful bikini that got demonetized on YouTube. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, guys. Um, we also have this one available, which is the snow shot with Christina on the Daytona, and then. So all of our team, the whole Camp Easy Customs crew is going to sign all of the ones with the bike photos. And then Christina did a couple of photos. This is amazing. This is one of my favorites. She'll be only signing this one. So she's got two beach shots. <laughs> and this is from our trip when we were in Florida. Um, I took these photos and um, our good friend Miranda actually edited them and made them look really, really nice. So um, they're all available on InShane Design's website. It'll be linked in the description below. So head down there if you guys are interested. Again, they're highly limited, all signed by us. And once they're gone, they're gone. They won't be available ever again. So this is a great way to show your support. We definitely need it. And, I need you know, shirts. Teens so. need shirts. She's in a uh, sports bra for some reason. <laughs> she can't afford shirts though. So yeah, there you go. You guys asked for posters and we finally had them available. So go and snag them while you can. Okay, so while she's opening this up, again, these are the carbon fiber wheels for the carbon Panigale build provided by Manny from Moto Million. If you guys want to order any of the stuff that we get from them, it'll always be linked in the description below and you can use code CAMPEASY to save yourself money on anything you order. Um, so these are Rotobox Boost carbon fiber wheels. Um, we actually had to special order these wheels because um, we wanted matte carbon. The whole entire build is matte carbon. Oh my god, dude. So, um, these wheels, oh my god. <laughs> Look at those things, dude. Uh, we're going to weigh all these once we pull them out of the packaging, but on Rotobox website, it says that they save, I think, 12 pounds over the stock setup wheels. So once we swap these stock wheels out, there's the front wheel. Look at that thing, dude. Look at the finish on that. Oh my God. And then we also got the ceramic bearings. Everything's ready to go for the install. Uh, we're actually gonna have Calps install the wheels for us. Dido doesn't have a uh, mounting and setup for the wheels. Look at that. 
Don't oh, drop it. So Manny was telling me, guys, the Boost matte carbon wheel setup. Teens, how heavy is that? It's not heavy at all. <laughs> really? Here, hold on. Oh, you want to grab the scale? Yeah, but that's ridiculous, guys. It's not a box of bricks, so that's good. Oh my god. Six pounds? It's hard to keep it balanced, don't yeah. Six pounds. Six pounds. That's with the ceramic bearings in there and stuff too, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll weigh the stock wheels when they come off, but we wanted to at least get um, some sort of weight. And again, if you pull up Rotobox website, they tell you that saves 12 pounds. So 10 and a half pounds with the exhaust, 10 to 12 pounds with the wheels. And then we're also, did I tell them about the carbon tank yet? Okay, we're also, we have a carbon tank on the way, guys, which is gonna save another like 10 pounds. We're shaving over 30 pounds off this bike, guys. So. That's ridiculous. You wanna pull the other one open? Thicker than that one. Ooh, that one's real thick. Single-sided swing arm. Oh, look at that, dude. It's absolutely gorgeous. God, look at that. And guys, we got um, Rizoma axle sliders coming that are gonna stick through here in black. It's gonna look so good. Go ahead. Christina, that wheel is massive next to you. <laughs> how is that? How heavy is that one? It's not heavy. Let me see. Oh my god. I don't know how, how it compares to that. Cause... There you go. Six pounds ish. Somewhere around there. Again, that's with the setup ready to go and everything. So, huge, huge shout out to Manny from Moto Million for getting us these wheels. He said he thinks there's only been one or two orders placed for these in the entire Idiot world. Wheels. With the matte carbon finish. Yeah, really they're nice. absolutely stunning, guys. And so, they'll be linked in the description below. But look at that, man. We're changing the game. Would you look at Would it? Would you just, just look, look at it? it? <laughs> Alright. What do we got here, Dado? Welcome to Johnsonville. <laughs> we got some breakfast sausages. Don't ask me why, but we're gonna put them on. And we got some cheese dogs. I love cheese dogs. And Nia ate the entire pack of cheese-filled sausages. Thanks, Nia. By herself. <laughs> Thanks. Now she's in a bathroom blowing her brains out. <laughs> I told Jared, I've seen a lot of premium parts in my life, like car parts, motorcycle parts. When they pulled the wheels out and I saw the finish and the machining of the oh my god probably one of the most premium well-engineered parts that i've ever seen in my life yeah you see these things in person they're amazing and i don't say that about much no. so definitely manny awesome <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so next what we're going to be doing is an oil and filter change on this bad boy so luckily we already got the fairings off we're gonna Kick that drain plug out, drain the oil. Change the grease and oil, right, Jared? Shut up. We're gonna pull the filter out, get that replaced, and then we'll be able to start it up. I think we're actually gonna pull the uh, baffles out of the exhaust as well, because my good man Steve, five up, if you might know him as, told me if you pull these baffles out, it sounds better, and it gives you a little bit more horsepower, so I'm always about horsepower. So stay tuned to the end of the episode when we pull those bad boys out and do a before and after. Let's get started. All right, so Teens is gonna get the bike raised up for us. Doesn't she look so beautiful? She's the best. She just did a lingerie try on on her channel, guys. If you're interested, head on over and check that out. Also, we're gonna be going out later tonight for this guy's birthday. Dotto had his birthday on Thursday, so make sure you drop him some love in the comment section below. All he wants is for people to buy posters, he and said. Bacon. And bacon. And bacon. Posters and bacon. <laughs> Crushing it. Dotto, tell me when to stop. Crushing it. How high do we want this, Dotto? Huh? How, how high do we want this? Together, right? As high as you can get it. I know, I do have to do the as other As high as you can get it, really? Do you want it that high? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm Thanks. Short. Thanks, babe. You're the best. You're welcome. I love it. Set up a little towel dispenser right there. <laughs> it's magnetic. So now we're ready for it. Um, we got a little oil pan, stainless oil pan. That's not going to hold all the oil, but what he's going to do is start draining some of it. We'll empty it and it's going to Depends on how much oil's in there. Dado doesn't think there's much oil in this bike. But that I, is rarely ever wrong. I think he's right. <laughs> I think he's right. <laughs> I think there's two, two, I think there's two quarts, two and a half quarts or less in here, which it calls for three or more, I think. So we're gonna find out right now how much oil's in this. How's that look? Pretty bad. Really? Mm-hmm. Any kind of metal particles from inside of the motor should be drawn to the oil drain plug. Look at this thing, guys. That's scary. Those are all metal shavings. This bike only has 3,300 miles on it, guys. So some of that's normal break-in, but those are some pretty big shavings and you do not want those in your engine. That's insane. See that? So we're gonna clean all of this stuff off and make sure that we let this oil drain for a while. We're gonna pull the plug and see how, or pull the filter and see how that looks too. 
Another thing we noticed is the drain plug has two crush washers, one on top of another, which shouldn't be. That's probably, there was probably oil leaking because of that. That's probably why the sight glass was so low. There you go. There was none in the sight glass at all. Two crush washers. And that's probably why. And the drain plug with metal. That's, a, that's an easy mistake to make because sometimes they blend in when they're really crushed on and there. And they get stuck. So you want to make sure you check for that kind of stuff. Look. Wow, dude. Little needles. Is the camera picking that up? That's normal though. It is. Yeah. It's normal. So while we're while we're working, the ladies are over here trying on the feet. Well, no, not we're trying not trying. Them on. Look at him. If they were trying them on, guys, I would I'd be definitely filming that. So, so don't worry. But if you want to see Nia do a try on of all, no, the movies, nobody wants to see. Drop a, a comment try below. Try <laughs> so while we let the oil drain, we want to make sure you let as much oil out as possible. Um, we're gonna flip our wieners. <laughs> you filming? All right, so. Uh, we let the oil drain for a while. It's still dripping a tiny bit, but I think we got most of it out. Dado's gonna cover the beautiful Acra titanium exhaust as much as he possibly can so we don't get oil on it before we pull out the uh, filter. Yeah, you don't want to get oil on it before you pull out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ducati Genuine Parts and Accessories. Let's take a look at this filter quick. Fresh and clean with the seal right there we're gonna put this guy on a nice clean towel now what i plan on doing is putting the new crush washer on that drain plug make sure all surfaces are completely clean you can see how clean the seat where that goes and that now just like with the 959 um, they recommend you put sealant on the drain plug and i don't all the surfaces are 100 percent clean the oil pan surface has to be clean as well, and you torque this down to the proper specs, and the crush washer will do its job. Putting on sealant, um, a lot of times it's for the threads, but each person puts on different amounts of sealant, and this is why I'm against putting sealant on things. Plus, um, I noticed when we pulled the drain plug out, there was a string of sealant sticking up. What happens is if the oil pump picks that up, you're screwed. So. Uh, from experience, I don't do it. Um, you can bitch at me all you want, but I'd much rather not put two crush washers on an oil drain plug than run, you know, into those kind of issues. So, yeah. So we're gonna put one uh, crush washer on there. We're gonna put the drain plug back in because everything's done draining. We're gonna move the pan over here and work on the oil filter assembly. We're gonna pull that out. All right. Make sure that the seat where that crush washer is gonna go on is 100% clean and. Doesn't have any debris or gasket material on it. And also oil sits in this little plastic belly pan. So just make sure that that's clean as well. We're just gonna keep letting this drain out for a little bit and then I'll put the new crush washer in and tighten her down to spec. Just screwing in the drain plug. Yeah, with one crush washer. <laughs> with a single crush washer. All right, so right there's the torque for the drain bolt, 14 Newton meters. So we're gonna torque that down right now. That's right. Okay, so the torque. No, go. got the torque wrench on. That's 14. it. Yep. Done. That's right, 14 Newton meters. Moving on. If you look in here, the reason why the cap is threaded is because if you get bolts that thread in this cap, and obviously look. It's a bigger thread. This bigger thread. What happens is they thread in this cap and then push against the surface that's over here and then that presses the cap off. But I'm gonna do my sausage finger trick and see if I can get it. Nope, I'm lying, I can't get it out. <laughs> it's pushing up against that yeah. surface. You don't wanna drive it too hard in there because it'll strip the threads for the smaller bolt. Grab them and pull them out, which this is probably gonna be a process because... I remember last time it was... Oh. Boom, look at that little river of oil. Perfect. So they recommend you use something like a pick and then just kind of grab this and then just pull it right out. How nasty the filter is. Wow, that's pretty caked. Yeah, holy hell. And see how the oil's not flowing, it's just caked on there. So this was pretty- It's nice and thick. Yeah, it's a good thing we changed this for sure. Oh yeah, nice and fresh. <laughs> yep. And then check this out. We'll reach in there and get all that out too. Yep, we're gonna wipe all that clean. 
since Dotto was so mean and couldn't give the manager a... Sit, bud. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Shake for me. Good boy. Other one? Oh, you're the best. Brand new oil filter. Oh my god. It smells, smells so like victory. It smells so good. Pop it on in. Press. Whoops. Slide it all the way and press, and you'll actually feel it click. So I felt it click. I'm gonna keep this here, but I think we're done with the oil. Yeah, we're good. You can take it oh, out. can I? Yeah. Um, off camera, when I took the cap off, I cleaned those rubber seals. So we're actually gonna put clean lubricant, clean oil on there. We're gonna press it in there and screw it tight and make sure we get the proper torque specs. We'll be good to go, huh? Let's do it. Anytime, uh, anytime you guys have any kind of rubber O-rings, you wanna make sure that they're coated in lubricant. If they're dry and the engine gets really hot, it's susceptible to leaks. So anytime I put any any kind of threads or anything like that. Yep, like that. there you go. Make sure that that's properly on there. Which way does it go, Jerry? That's a good question. I would guess that this is upright. Good guess. <laughs> Just, it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. And they press, there you go. Torquing it down to 13 Newton meters. Both the top and, the, well, I guess the left and right, we'll call them. There it is. Moving on, time for oil. Time for oil. So we're using the Shell Advanced uh, 15W50. That is the Ducati oil that they actually call for. Um, the manual states 3.7 quarts, but apparently that's too much. So they actually say 3.2 is what it should be. So what we're gonna do is we're put, gonna pour three of these in, start up the bike, let it run for 30 seconds, then we're gonna check the oil line, and then we'll add oil as needed. So people might be wondering why we're using a funnel that has a filter in it. Um, Dotto was just men mentioning a lot of the oil containers, when you open them up, they'll have a foil thing across the top. And sometimes if you break that, trying to get the oil out, you can get little pieces of foil in your oil and then it'll go into your motor and you do not want that to happen. If you get a piece of foil between your bearing and your crank or something like that, you'll cause a lot of damage. And Jarrett was like, why can't we use a conventional funnel? I'm really anal about stuff and there's probably 90% chance or higher that you'll never get anything in there. But pouring the oil out and not knowing what's coming out and into your motor, yeah, I'm not risking it. So we got a little, there's a metal screen here that screens everything that goes through. Like when he hawks up a loogie or like, you know. <laughs> those are pisses in it. Yeah, those are pisses in it. You know, it'll at least make sure that it's that it's nice and clean, so. So we got one quart down, then we're gonna continue on. All right, so we got three quarts in. We're gonna start up the bike, let it run for 30 seconds, and see where the oil level is then, and then we're gonna pull it off the stand too and just. Next step is getting the bike off the stand on level ground so we can continue to add oil and make sure we're good to go. Bike is straight and we just checked the oil level. This is after we ran it a couple times, kept adding oil. And there you go guys, dead on, right where it needs to be. Sausage fingers, sausage, sausage fingers. fingers. Sausage fingers. <laughs> so up next is the coolant. We're gonna bleed the coolant and we'll get into that in a second. All right, now that all of the oil stuff is done, the filter and Everything else, we got it back up on a stand. We got some Redline Water Wetter. If you guys followed our 959 episode, um, the entire series, one of the episodes was doing the coolant flush and also adding Water Wetter and distilled water. Um, I think we're gonna do the same thing to the 1299. Here's some distilled water here, bottle of Water Wetter, and instead of draining the whole system out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the entire top rad. Um, that'll allow us to fill approximately a little less than half of the capacity of the cooling system with distilled water and water wetter and that'll significantly drop the temperatures because these things do run hot um, and the reason why we're not draining all of the coolant out is uh, if the next um, user you know the next owner of this uh, 1299 if it if they don't have a climate controlled area or they leave it outside and it goes below freezing temperatures um, the water will not expand because it will have um, coolant inside, antifreeze, it won't damage the block or the cylinder head or anything like that. Hey! hey what up, Papa Bear? How are you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Oh! <laughs> What's going on there? There she is. Have you seen the exhaust on? Oh you haven't? Oh my god. No, this is the first time I've seen it. Oh, shit. Wow, look at the tire. Terrible. 
Wow. Look at that pot. So weird. all of these pipes are now titanium. Yeah, isn't that amazing? What do you think? You can pick it up. Isn't that ridiculous? I love it. The weight is in a cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking love it. I like that one too. And they're matte carbon. These are special ordered. Here. It's very, very limited. Face me. Oh. How ridiculous is that? Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Imagine Insane. That. Another 12 pounds off the bike. Oh what? my god. So this is what the cleared carbon looks like. Yes, I just noticed it. it. Okay. Yeah, we want matte finish because sure. all the, the carbon fairings are matte finish. So. Ceramic That's berries. amazing. Yeah. Four thousand dollars for the pair, Dad. Credit card right there, bang. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Ah. Wait, what's going on over here? What did you guys get? Oh, we got ice cream cake and then a triple chocolate fudge cake. Because oh, you want a chocolate on chocolate what on chocolate. Fudge. My fudge. god. And look who's right here. <laughs> I want some of that. <laughs> Dad, I've been a good boy. <laughs> oh, birthday boy. Look at him. You and your chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. That the posters are available. So this is in chain site too, guys. In chain designs. And then if you just go on here under collections, Camp Easy Customs. Nice. Check it out. Boom. Wow. Posters. Look how Beautiful. pretty that is. And then they did uh, what it would look like in a frame. The frames don't come with the posters, but look how nice that is. Isn't that awesome? Yes. So 25 bucks signed by all of us, autographed. And then you got Christina's beach photos too. I like this one. This is the one we took down in Florida. Holy crap. Isn't that amazing? That's gorgeous, I took Christina. that photo. You see it? Damn. Mm -hmm. That's that awesome? a beautiful suit. That is gorgeous, Christina. Holy yeah. Christ. Good picture, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to empty out the top radiator. Let's see if I can get it without losing. Oh, this is going to go all over the place. Is it? Yeah. Great. Oh, God. There you go. That's not too bad. Oh, my Lord. Dude, all right, we're going to let this drain out. So we're gonna add about, what'd you say, Donald, half? We're gonna use half of this bottle. Half the bottle, gonna the then we're gonna use some water. And then we'll have some water wetter, some water, and some engine coolant. And in she goes. Slowly drip in there, nice and pink. All right, next step is filling it up with water. Basically until it starts flowing out, and then we know the whole system is filled. And then we'll run the bike a little bit, and we might need to add a little bit more. So teams, you can move around a little bit, but kind of be in the same area so we can get. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was so close. So there's these little rubber parts that cover up the hole right there. And right in there, right in there is the screw. That's how you remove those baffles right there. And this thing is gonna sound ridiculous once we do this. It should give us a little more horsepower too. All right, so right side baffle is out. That's what it looks like. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. It's hot. <laughs> there we go, that looked a lot better. Who's gonna get in there to get the other one out? Oh shit. <laughs> You got it, Dado. Good work. That's number two out. Now let's start this bitch up. <laughs> Baffles are out. And I can't wait to see what this sounds like. Dozer, last time, I promise. <laughs>
muscle. Yeah, more, way more better. Muscle yeah. So the exhaust is starting to bl uh, blow in. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks so good. In that area there and in here. Look at that coloring. Good lord. And yeah, without the baffles, so freaking badass. God, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. All right. So we're gonna take off the stock oil filter cap. Manny from Motor Million sent us a TWM filler cap with a new uh, O-ring. O-ring, thank you. Oh, it's my O face. I'm just gonna remove this guy here. Boom. Look at that, looks dope. So, this right here was sent to us by the winner of the Custom Daytona series, Andre. Andre, thank you so much. He got a bottle for Dotto and myself. And what we wanted to do was bust open the Johnny Walker 18 and take a shot on camera. And guys, you don't need to comment about how much we're drinking. We're grown ass men, okay? We both had like maybe a beer. Maybe 16 beers. Maybe that's 16 all. beers, but we're not alcoholics, okay? No, and we don't ride after we drink. No, obviously. we're not riding anywhere. It's freaking 14 degrees outside. And we waited to drink this. One shot after, we're after, done. after we were done filming because so many people complain. Not that we give to flying. We figured shits. what better table than a carbon fiber wheel? Is this a cork? Oh. Oh my god, get out of here. I love those are shot One for you and it's stainless steel shot glasses. And Let me smell it. One for myself. Or one for Dado. Look how thick the glass. Oh Jarrett, really? I spilled it. Came in oh Jarrett. Alright, so. Cheers, Dozer. Cheers, this bud. Okay. Amazing. To Andre, thank you on your so new much. Daytona. Thank you guys so much, and to the new winner of the 1299 to come. Cheers. That's unbelievable. So oh my God, that's dangerous. I think we should do one more. All right, ten more shots. So that's it for this episode, guys. Um, we got the carbon fiber wheels unboxed and finally arrived. They'll be getting installed later on in the series. Um, we got the oil and filter changed and finally have the proper oil level in the bike, which makes me very happy. And then we also got the coolant swapped out with some water wetter and some water. And then also removed the baffles, which sounds unbelievable. And, and posters. oil filter cap. And posters. Oh, and we have posters available. Yeah. So two things. Number one, if you want any of the parts that we put on the bikes, always Moto Million in the, in the description. You can use Code Camp Easy to save yourself some money. Um, if you want to get posters, they're limited. They're all hand signed by us. So go to that website. It'll also be linked in the description below. And I think that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more videos. Share these videos with your friends and family and fellow bike lovers, enthusiasts. And we'll see you in the next one.